Once we're in Blender, we want to go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ. And this is where we'll paste in that address that we just copied out of Meshroom and import the only OBJ file that is there. This takes a little while. Uh, I've cut out some of the waiting from the video. Here I change the rotation point to be the 3D cursor that is at the world origin. And I try to line up the surface of the, the board that I had the rock sitting on with the ground plane, roughly. And I add a cube to operate as a Boolean subtract. Uh, so I kind of arrange it until I like what's left of the rock. Um, run a Boolean subtract and then we want to apply that so that we can go in and remove all the excess geometry. The apply takes a little while as well. I remove the Boolean operator cube and this is where we uh, remove the excess geometry. So just select something of what you want to remain at the end. Hit Control L to select all linked geometry. Control I to invert that selection and delete and delete all vertices or whatever selection mode you were in. Switching to look dev mode will show you what your rock looks like now. Um, I didn't really like that uh, recessed area at the bottom, although it, it could look all right. I went back and redid my boolean. I, I did a second boolean by lowering the rock a little below the horizon or the ground plane and just applying another boolean to get a nice flat bottom without uh, a messed up texture on, on the one section. At this point, you can call your mesh cleanup of your raw scan finished. Um, in the next video, which will be the last one in this playlist, we'll go about creating a reduced high poly version and a low poly version, and, as well as baking the detail of the textures and geometry to those lower detail meshes. It is a little lengthy, but I think you'll find that the results from a texture bake are pretty cool. So let's get to it.